morning everybody it's Gina uh, welcome back to the Firefly Studio 67 today I've got a a project in mind that I've been wanting to do for some time I've seen everybody doing these master boards um, and what they are is is taking um, like a mixed media paper uh, I think you can use cardstock as well, but I'm I'm using a mixed media just because I think it's going to be sturdier when I start collaging. Um, so I thought it would be fun. Um, I'm going to do my little take on it and do it a shabby chic. And having said that, let me introduce you to this is the I know I'll pronounce it probably wrong. The Ira Ira Lamaja shop. <laughs> you guys have probably. Um, seen me struggle with this in the past because I've bought from her um, before and she does amazing shabby chic um, elements for card making and um, she contacted me and asked me if I would be a guest um, design team uh, member you know to demonstrate how we could use her um, digitals in journal making and I was delighted and um, I did tell her yes I, I, I'd be thrilled to because I have purchased from her in the past and they are gorgeous. <laughs> so this is the Vintage Floral Backgrounds Collage and aren't those beautiful? I mean you can see that these are um, the sizing would be more in keeping with um, uh, card, card making but she also <clears throat> has got these, and this is the vintage script paper. Isn't that beautiful? And then I've also got the romantic rose. So I'm going to try to do um, one of these master boards using this, probably a few of these, some book pages, and also the shabby butterflies. I've printed these out. Um, this is how they print out and then I've just down, I've sized them down a bit. So let's just get started. Um, again, this is another great way to use those book pages. <clears throat> and I've never done one of these guys so this, this might end up being a, a long video. So I thought I'm going to grab some book pages um, Edith Holden and then probably some um, music sheet. Where's my tearing ruler? See, I'm not that organized this morning. Um, yes, here we go. Here we go. I'm sorry about that. I thought I had everything together, but as usual, when you get started, you realize actually I don't. <laughs> um, Okay, let me get some music that sheet. I probably have all of this already, but just to make sure we don't run out. So like I said, I've not done one of these, but I've been really inspired because um, I've seen a lot of people doing them. I know uh, Yvonne Preston did one. Um, just so, because I know everybody's going to ask, I'm going to be working with the Tim Holtz um, Distress Collage Medium. Love this stuff. Um, I might use the vintage one, but I don't know because I don't know if I'm going to want to, because that gives it a really aged look, and I might want that, but let's just get started, and we will just let this go wherever it wants to go. Um, Okay, so I'm just going to start, because I, I don't mind some small strips, but I'm not a fan of um, a lot of small um, bits of paper, and that's just me. I'm, I'm a little bit weird, you know. Um, I don't always do things probably the way they should be done. <laughs> I usually just end up doing my own thing. <laughs> um, of that on the back. 
Let me make sure camera. I know you can't probably see that very well, but this, as I said, this is um, mixed media paper. You can probably use some um, heavier cardstock, but I just want to do this. Um, And I'm actually going to take that the papers over the edge because this is all going to be cut down in the end to make journal cards and um, some tags. I just think I feel like just playing today. So yeah, I'm going to take those just over the edge of that. And I'm really hoping, let me just make sure, guys, I'll probably lift it up just a bit. There we go. That way you can absolutely uh, see everything. So yeah, there's a couple of things, and I'll tell you when we get to them, that I'm going to try with this. Because I just, I don't know, lately I've really been getting into other stuff, and thank goodness I've found, I've started, well, I haven't found more time. I guess I'm just making more time um, in my day. I'm getting up, I've started getting up a little bit earlier and, you know, just tried to really get myself uh, more organized. And I'm just going to tell you, and I know you guys probably already realize it yourself, but social media... It really does zap your um, your time, and I'll have to say, guys, it's it's a problem for me. And I know it's not. I'm not alone. There's a lot of people that are struggling, and I know people get really frustrated because they're like, "Well, how how can you make journals as quick as you do?" I hear that question a lot, and it's not that I'm quick, guys. Honestly. Um, I'm pretty slow at journal making, but it all comes down to uh, time management. And I have had a bout of, you know, really struggling with that. Um, and I, I, again, I have to keep myself in check and start scaling back um, when I see that I'm not being as productive as I should be. And particularly now, you know, we're in springtime. And if, if you're like me, you're trying to work in the garden, you've still got your household chores to do, um, it's hard. It's hard to spread, you know, uh, 18 hours to cover everything. And it, I don't know, this world we've created is just such high pressure. But it's the way it is. And uh, so, yeah, I have to keep myself in check. But um, I have... I think a little bit better system which has allowed me a bit more time to play around and that makes me very happy <laughs> because I do love to just um, keep trying to find, you know, the, there's just so many amazing artists out there and my interests are so vast I think you can probably see by now. That's part of my problem is I just want to do everything I see. So I'm just, I don't know guys, I'm just spreading this around. At the end I might find actually this is not really great, but I don't know. I'm just doing what I think is going to look right. Um, okay, so now I did put down this paper here because... Um, I didn't want you guys getting the glare off of this um, tonic mat I've got. It, the lighting would be terrible. So I'm just going to start tearing these up. I don't think you need to see it. Um, well, I'll set it over to the side. I love these images. I think they are so, so pretty. And uh, I tell you right now, I was tempted to do a card. I might, I might actually uh, still come back and show you. She does beautiful cards. Um, I believe her name. Uh, well, she, she, she's Betty. 
and she does, if you go onto her site, gosh, has she got some fabulous um, shabby chic cards that she does. I, mine would never be to that level, I'll tell you that, but I do love to make cards. It's just uh, something I kind of got away from lately because the shipping, I mean not shipping, listen to me, the postage to send the bulky um, cards back to family from here is just, it's just gotten crazy. And, you know, it's not like my son is going to be thrilled to get a shabby chic card in the mail. So it's like, okay, well, I'll just save that $5. Thank you very much. <laughs> But yeah, I do. I do enjoy, uh, and and you know, you can often take inspiration from just cards as well because um, you can see a beautiful vintage style card in, it, in your mind. Think, oh, well, you know what? I can. I, that would be a beautiful journal cover. So you know, it's just another way. You just we got to keep finding uh, places to get our inspiration from. Okay. Let me grab another um, book page, guys, just because I want to get another, uh, some different colors going on in this, because those are a lot of, like, really warm yellows. So this is just, like I said, I, I haven't tried this. Um, I'm just going to play around. We might even do some texture. Um, I've got some texture stuff I thought I might play around with, and then um, maybe add a few napkin pieces here and there. We'll see when we get to it, because the, the butterflies will be at the end. Those will be something. Well, I don't know. I might put a few placed within there, too. That might be kind of pretty. All right, so now I've got the big ones, so now is when I would probably start coming in and adding some smaller pieces. That's just the way I do it, because I just found that when I <clears throat> used to use the small pieces around, um, I just didn't like the way it looked in the end. Um, whereas this... It's just kind of, to me, it's a background, and then you're building up from it, so why not just cover as much space as you can and, and just get on to the fun stuff? Okay, just a little bit more, maybe down there to break that up. And see, you see now the, the reason you want to use that, a thicker paper. Look at that, and you're not having any kind of, um, it's not bending up. What am I trying to say? Yeah, you know how the cardstock will start to buckle. So it is worth it. And um, again, guys, check your car boots and uh, the thrift stores because sometimes people who have been in <coughs> crafting, they get out of it for whatever reason, and you can sometimes find this stuff. I mean, I've got a big thing of the um, watercolor paper at the car boot for um, 50 cents. Those are like $15 at, at Walmart. I mean, not Walmart, Michael's. So do not forget to check those places. All right, now we're coming in with... The pretty stuff. Isn't that a beautiful piece? Love her papers. Yeah, I'm quite excited to do this because um, I've been wanting to. Now, if you're wanting this to be a more aged, then I would recommend you ink those pages before you put it on here because once you cover it with this, it's not as easy. Sorry, guys. Um, it won't be as easy to get that aged, but I didn't. I wanted this to be more of a shabby chic, so I'm not really worried about that. <clears throat> okay, let me move this again. Little by little, I keep 
inching a little bit further away from you guys. <laughs> so I hope everybody is uh, well. I'm not going to bring it up, but you know, all the stuff going around. Uh, but I do hope everybody, my subscribers are all healthy and uh, looking forward to, you know, maybe you've got, I don't know, maybe you've got a plan, trip planned or, um, you know, things coming up. Easter's coming up, isn't it? I don't even know when. Isn't that pathetic? I just lose track of it all. Uh, but I know it's coming up soon, so... Uh, I won't put that there after all. Okay, let me just see. I'll put it over here. If you, um, sorry to keep going on about this, but if you guys, if you're somebody who does not like working with Mod Podge, please, please, please try this. It's a little bit pricey, but if you're in the U.S., you can use those coupons probably. Actually, I don't know. Thinking about it, I had to order mine online when I was over there. I don't know if um, Joann's or Hobby Lobby may carry this. Michael's might, but I know Michael's, when I was there, did not have a lot of the Tim Holtz. Um, but, guys, honestly, I cannot tell you how much I love this, and it's it's definitely changed my life on uh, the decoupage. Okay. That's coming along really pretty now. Um, okay. I'm just stepping back, guys. I want to see. Because I've got these other pieces, but they would be... Uh, you know what? I'm going to do it. I know it's a completely different tone, but... The whole thing is to be a collage, so let me just tear this. Uh, sorry if it's not in camera, guys. I just got a very, very small space here to work in. So let me just get this tore and we can get on with it. Really enjoying um, making this, and I'm hoping it's going to come out the way I want. Oh yeah, that's pretty. Uh, let's see here. Okay, I've got a little bit of a old uh, receipt. I see a few places that I've I've missed. I'm just going to come back in now with a few a few of these here and there just to break things up. Okay, I want to get a little bit more green splattered around, so...
very quickly, and I'm sorry I didn't do this in advance, guys. Let me check the time. <coughs> We're okay. I'm just going to put a couple of these butterflies. within this because I think that's going to be really pretty and then like I said at the end this will all be cut up into some journal cards and then we can and you know they can be embellished even further so so yeah I've been working on another of the little bitty envelope journals. I've started a TN that's a, vi a vintage style and if you if you don't know what TN that's a traveler's notebook size. It's like a about a four and a quarter by I don't know eight and a quarter or eight and a half. Um, size journal. So Okay, let's see. Just a little bit. Maybe here. And then I want a little bit up here. Okay, still got to fill that with something. Let me see, guys. Stepping back, stepping back. Okay, I want to get a bit more of this paper in. Yeah. Okay, let me see what else I want to put. I've got some of this. Isn't that pretty with the, the ruler in it? And get some of that. Like I said, I'm just taking that just over the edge because that way I can come back and trim it. Because I've found if you do it exactly to the edge, sometimes it'll curl up and we don't want that. The other thing, um, once this is cut into tags and journal cards, is I can come back over that and stitch. Let me just see, I still need to fill in a little bit there. So yeah, I did um, some clearing out yesterday of my fabrics, and I tore those all into uh, smaller bundles, and I've got those all wrapped up now, and I don't know, I'm trying to figure out if I want to list them, or, um, but at least I've done a clear out of stuff that I know I'm not going to use, and just getting everything 
This is where I've spent a lot of time at the beginning of this year as well, is just going through, because we've all got stuff that we we bought that actually isn't our style now, you know, because their style is always changing. And so it's just been a lot of that kind of thing going on. Guys, I see the time is running out, so let me stop the camera here, and I'll be right back. Okay, hopefully we'll be all right for a few more minutes. My battery on this camera is not as good as it was, and uh, so I may have to do this into two parts. I hope not. I will try my best to keep this as short as I can, but I can already see this is going to be a long video. But it takes what it takes, doesn't it? So here, I think I'm going to put this butterfly. Gosh, those are beautiful. Okay, I like that. Oops, let me see. I'll make sure he's not getting stuck. Um, I think I do need a little bit more down here, and I like this piece because she's got some writing on that. Yep, I'm just going to put that there. Then I'm going to dry this, and we will get on and I can show you how I'm going to use this. Oh, I love it. Love it. Love it. Okay, guys, I'm going to dry this and I'll be back. Okay, guys, I have uh, dried that and then I've tried to trim it up around the edges. There's, you know, so that's how it's looking. And like I said, the final thing, you know, once it's all been cut, I'll then go in and do the stitching because there's no point in stitching it now because it's going to have to be cut up into cards and so on. Next thing we're going to do, I'm going to take some of this Creative FX Iridescent Glaze and we're going to, um, I'm going to stencil that. Now this is using the uh, Prima lace stencil again. Now I don't know the name of this stencil guys because I don't have the packaging in it anymore but it was bought at Hobby Lobby um, but if you're not in the US then I would say just do a search for Prima stencils and sh it should come up because I can't imagine they've gotten that many. So I'm just going to get this put on And then we'll come back and dry that. And I think you're going to be really pleased with how this looks because it, it ends up looking like um, lace, old lace on top of it. But let me just explain. I use this to ink a lot, right? And often I'm really busy, so I just shove it in the drawer. Well, that had some ink on it, but I'm actually loving it because it's made this come out. Uh, very vintage. Now, having said that, once I wash all this off, um, you know, it's going to be back to <laughs> the way it should be done and put away, but, you know, sometimes, but I like it because it's made that um, come out much uh, softer, more vintage. So I'm just randomly putting this around because, um, but I do want to try to get most of it because, as I said, this is all going to be covered up. I mean, cut up, so I want to make sure that there's some of this texture on um, most of it. And I'll show you when I uh, have dried this up close. You can see um, then how it's going to look. Too thick on there. And then another little bit here. I'm trying not to smudge this. Um, I 
where it's been. Okay. Oh, yeah, I'm loving that. Okay, guys, let me um, shut off the camera, dry this, and then you can see it up close. Okay, guys, we, I have dried this, and I want you to see. I'm hoping this is going to come up on camera. Isn't that fabulous? It's just like a layer of lace over that board. Beautiful. I'm very, very happy with how that came out. <laughs> Sometimes you surprise yourself. <laughs> but yes, okay, so having now completed this, uh, I'm going to, the next thing you're going to see, I will have cut these into tags, and um, and you can see what we're going to do with the master board. Okay, guys, I'm back, and this is what we have created from our master board. So you can see I, um, I cut those off so that it was a tag shape. I was going to run it through with my tag die, but I want to tell you guys, if you use that um, product, you know, that iridescent, um, let me see, what is it? Iridescent glaze. Uh, make sure that you dry that really, really well because I thought it was completely dry, but I did find um, that when I started cutting the board into the shapes that it was smudging a bit. So, so be aware of that, and I want to put this little disclaimer out there. If you choose to use your sewing machine to stitch, I did. I'm happy to use my machine in that way, but I don't. I want you guys to be aware that... Um, the needle did feel like it was uh, a bit of a strain on that. You know, you do what you want with your machine. I'm happy to do that with mine. So um, I kind of know my machine pretty well and what it'll take and what it won't. And then here you can see all I've done is just add some um, seam binding and then another little tag because it doesn't need anything else to me you know it's all down to personal taste and this one I love how this has come out I came in I put a frame with another piece of paper back there I cut out one of the butterflies added uh, some tr uh, fabric covered with lace as a little um, you know shabby tab and then the little safety pin so you guys can see but isn't that um, They've come out so pretty. I'm really happy with this. And then here I, I wanted a dimensional butterfly there so that that's going to stand out against that one. And then this one, um, this was gifted to me, this little butterfly. Isn't he beautiful? So I've just sewn that um, onto the journal card. So I think that's come out beautiful. I've got three more pieces left, but I didn't want to embellish those yet because it'll depend on the project that they're going in. I hope you guys have enjoyed that. Again, <coughs> check out um, Betty Shop. I will put the link in the description box below to the kits that I used for this project. And guys, be sure that you hang on to those book pages, get them out, use them, and hopefully this has inspired you to try this. I've really enjoyed this project because it's something I've been wanting to do for a while. So it was nice to be able to get some different supplies out and play a bit. I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope everybody has a, um, a great rest of the day, and I'll see you here soon. Bye.